Hello, this is DracoFlame67 with another episode of the Skyrim Race Lock, the College Altmer post game. Last time we went around Skyrim, uh, just adjusting our build, uh, getting Erender back, uh, and um, getting our both the uh, Atronach and the Lord Standing Stones, uh, and we completed the Illusion Ritual spell. So we now have uh, Hysteria and Mayhem in our um, in our spell repertoire, though we still don't have. Oh, actually, 520. We could we could actually cast uh, Mayhem if we wanted to, even without the uh, Master Illusion perk. Uh, but right now I want to get the, uh, either Restoration or Conjuration. Um, I'm gonna try with, uh, I'm gonna, I want to do Conjuration first, actually. Uh, I just need to find, uh, Finnis. It's either gonna be in the Hall of Countenance or the Hall of the Elements. Here, hey, Finnis. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. What else is there to be learned about conjuration magic? How quickly you've advanced. Most impressive. There are spells yet to be learned. Powerful spells that can more closely and more permanently bind creatures to your will. But there are risks. There are always risks. You must summon and command an unbound remora. Great, how do I do that? I will teach you the spell to summon the dremora, but know that it will only work in a place properly prepared for the event. Once you have summoned the dremora, you will order it to deliver to you a sigil stone from an oblivion gate. Once I have a sigil stone, I shall inscribe the spells that you seek. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> if only that were true. Summoning an unbound remora is not like other conjuration spells. It will not simply do your bidding. You must first prove you are in control. Here is the spell you need. Go to the top of the Hall of Attainment. I have prepared a place for you there. Mm-hmm. So, we need to get to the top of the Hall of Attainment, summon an Unbound Remora, and beat it into submission. Yeah, you know those Dramora at the, um, uh, at Maroon Shrine that we fought just so that we could, um, get to the Lord Stone. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight another one. Unbound. I say.
Are you ready to submit? <laughs> I can do this all day. No! no I submit! No more! What is your bidding? Bring me a sigil stone. Now. Yes, my lord. Summon me again, and I shall live. Taking out the good to see Skyrim still unbound Ramora. I'm always available should you need me. times. Let's go back to Finnis. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. That is incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding, no matter what the guards claim. I have your sigil stone. Mine? Oh, no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Now, let's see what there is to see. The people of Skyrim have no appreciation for what we do here. Not that I care. Should you ever fall victim to an unfortunate accident, I promise your remains will be put to good use. Uh, what did you see? I have the knowledge I need. And so you may have your stone back. And also, please, take this. You have done well. Uh, until next time. So... <laughs> The spell tomb he gives us is for flame thrall, but we already have that because of uh, because of Solstheim and going to Apocrypha and one of the black books just happening to have that spell tome. Uh, so there's something else I want from him Make instead. It Take a look. First of all, we can sell this spell tome for uh, for a bit of well, actually quite a bit of gold. Uh, let me take Filth Greater Soul Gem. Actually, I'm gonna need that. that. Now, you should have uh, Dead Thrall. Because I'm using the Atronach Stone, I can't actually summon um, my, 
point. I can't summon Atronox reliably because of the magic absorption, but I can revive Dead. And Dead Thrall uh, brings somebody back, well, until killed. And uh, unlike the other reanimation spells, this one does not disintegrate the body. Uh, so you can continue bringing the same thing, the same person back. So uh, I'm going to take Dead Thrall. All right, then. Uh, let's see, how much does it cost? 454? Yeah, wow. Okay. Um, more importantly, though, we have the Sigil Stone. And that means we can use, uh, that means we can, um, we can upgrade our, uh, what we can use at the Atronach Forge. Um, just looking at what I have in the, in my inventory right now. Strain Dynamo Core, a Black Soul Gem. Um, got some Greater Soul Gems. You have one Grand, but it's not filled with uh, but it's only filled with a common. We have uh, ingredients. We do not have a void salts. Need a void salts for what I'm planning. Actually, uh, do we have ebony ingots? Uh, we do have. We have plenty of ebony ingots. There is a. I do need a void salts though. Which there should be one. Uh, just in. Here. He sends a cold, but Gajit feels warmness from your presence. Actually, I need two void salts. Um, do we have? Uh, uh, I might have sold. Uh, I sold an am. Oh, I sold an amethyst. Anyway, um, let's get started on the restoration ritual spell. Yeah, we can probably. Yeah, I think we can do them both in the same part. So, Colette. Must be in the canium now. Or down here. Hey. is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Why are my research materials constantly disappearing? What else is there to be learned about restoration magic? Look at you. Such a devoted student of restoration. It's comforting to see that not everyone has dismissed it as entirely as most members of the college. Truly comforting. It looks like you're ready to speak with the auger. Uh, what does the auger have to do with this? Oh, didn't you know? The auger was a brilliant mage, truly inspired, mastered spells others could barely comprehend. He was especially gifted when it came to restoration. He's, well, 
He's very particular about who shares the knowledge. So you'll need his approval first. Go on, go talk to him. I'm sure he's been paying attention and will be expecting you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Uh, actually, hold on. Before we do that, I want to check the Archmage's quarters first. Because I think... So if there are Void Salts here, because I want two of them. Before heading down into the mid-end to talk to the Augur. Actually, let's just take all these soul gems. Salts. All right, I've got two void salts. Good. All right, let's head down into Restoration Ritual spell, we need to go into the mid and dark, but before we actually go in there, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but I do want to stop by the Atronaut Forge. Now that we have the Sigil Stone, we can get some more things. Arinder, you coming? Oh, there you are. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna need some of his stuff. Mara protect us both. Learning how to room, eh? I'll be glad to help. So I'm gonna take his armor and his gauntlets. I'm ready. Let's continue. That's something you can do. Uh, hold on first. We can put the sigil stone right here. And that makes, uh, that enables more things to be created at the Atronach Forge. Uh, something you can do is turn ebony armor into Daedric armor. So, if we store the ebony armor, and then we need a, uh, we need a Daedra heart. A Centurion, uh, I'm pretty sure a Centurion Dynamo Core. Uh, and a Black Soul Gem. armor is now Daedric armor. Mara protect us both. Learning how to room, eh? And I'll now uh, Erender can can wear that. I'm ready. Let's continue. And I don't think yeah, we don't have two black soul gems. So what we can do uh, in addition is well, if we have... 
Actually, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna need a quick save here. If we have, um, if we put a Deidre Heart Void Salts, an Ebony Ingot, and a uh, a soul gem filled with a greater soul or higher greater soul gem greater it'll give us a random armor a random daedric armor i want uh i want boots and shields specifically so i'm gonna quick save oh Uh, what? Oh, thought we would. Okay, maybe I need, so we go to Greater Soul Gem. Okay, maybe we'll go with one of these. Now these are Daedric Boots of Fire Abatement. Mara Protector. Learning out of room, eh? I'll be glad to help. All right. Um, can keep those. We don't have a black soul gem for to turn the ebony gauntlets into Daedric gauntlets, so I'm just gonna give those to him. Um, I'm ready. Let's continue. I still want the shield, so let's put the same things in. Daedra heart. Void salts, an ebony ingot, and a greater soul gem or higher. Make sure that the value is 350. Now, I'm gonna quick save, and I'm gonna I'm gonna reset until I get a shield. have a shield. <laughs> the Daedric Shield of Peerless Blocking. Alright. Right now, we're using the Dwarven Shield of Shock Suppression. 28 armor rating. Uh, the Daedric Shield of Peerless Blocking has 39 armor rating. And we have plus 40% Fortify Block. So this is going to be our our shield instead. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, we can't turn the uh, the ebony gauntlets into Daedric gauntlets yet because we don't have a black soul gem. Um, so I'm going to take the sigil stone and we're going to go into the mid and dark and. Uh, finish up uh, the restoration ritual spell. Oh, the Quinter Hold is an amazing song. I've never set foot on the grounds, but always wanted to.
auger. Now I'm pretty sure that. Okay, so I have. Put more spoon here. Um, I'm gonna have. Circle of protection on left trigger and grand healing on right. Once again, you have come seeking something. The circumstances differ. This time, I have what you seek. Are you prepared? Prepared for what? Colette has already told you. You must be tested before knowledge can be imparted to you. You will rely on your skill as a mage, not on your belongings, not on your scrolls and potions. Only what lies within. Survive, and you are worthy. This is the test put before you. Will you accept? I'm ready for your test. Step into the light, and your test begins. magic. And we have our followers with us to help.
Alright, so that was the alteration ritual spell. It did have to... did come with the, uh... Uh, since we had, uh, some pretty strong followers here, it actually wasn't much trouble. But, um... Yeah. And we ended up getting the spell Bane of the Undead. Which is a stronger version, uh, actually no, it's like an AoE fear spell only for the undead, and it puts them on fire, so it damages them. The upgrade to Circle of Protection, Guardian Circle, uh, we need to, uh, we need to talk to Colette for it, uh, right now, because... Um, due to a bug, uh, it won't be put in her inventory, uh, it won't be in her inventory after two days. So it's been put in her inventory now, but when it resets, um, like all shopkeepers have their inventories reset every 48 hours. It's not going to be in her inventory, uh, at that point. So we need to get Guardian Circle right now. I'll end the part after that. So, she's either in Hall of Continents or Arcanium. Let's go to the Arcanium now. Looks like Colette has gone back. So let's go to let's go to the Hall of Countenance. is a perfectly valid school of math. Why are my reasons? Spells and incantations for those with a talent to cast them. Guardian Circle is not in her inventory. Mm -hmm. And that... Once again, I have found very... Be careful! Just be... Take a look. And that means we are screwed. Mm-hmm. So I really wanted to use Guardian Circle, but it's... It's really... It's really finicky. Um... Uh, last time I really wanted to use Guardian Circle... Readings, Arch... Yeah? What? So you wish to master the arcane arts? Uh, last last mm -hmm. time this happened to me, I ended up using console commands to put it in my inventory. Um, I do want to show off Guardian Circle, uh, so I might end up doing that, uh, but not now. Uh, for now, we need to uh, to at least get started. Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Feralda about uh, destruction uh, next time. For now, this has been Draco Flame sixty seven with the Skyrim Race Lock, the College Altmer post game. See you next time.